Hey guys, it's me, the wolf. And um, as most of you probably do not know, uh, my family hunts, which you probably tell from the pheasant feathers, like a pheasant feather, turkey feathers right here and right here. I'm pointing the opposite direction, so it's kind of hard. Anyways, there. You see right here? Almost. Almost. There we go, right here. And, um, so yeah, so we hunt. We have a pheasant over here. Over here we have a pheasant and a duck. My dad's got deers over there. But yeah, we hunt. And we usually hunt waterfowl, upland game birds. My dad and my brother hunt deer. But something my dad has always wanted to try is um, shed hunting. And a shed is an antler of a deer. If you don't know what an antler is, just look at the top of a, the head of a deer. Most likely a male deer, because female deers usually don't have antlers. But anyway, so we've never shed hunted before. And we don't have any dogs who shed hunt or know how to shed hunt. So I went to Cabela's. We were coming home just yesterday from my grandma's house and I got this it's rack wax dog training scent and it's basically it just looks like a chapstick container but do not put it on your lips open it up and it looks just like chapstick you can twist the end and it'll come out it's wax and what it is, is it really stinks but it smells good for the dogs it's dogs love it what it is, is basically it's the scent of the racks of the um, deer. So what you do with it, if you're going to teach your dog how to shed hunt, now I am learning on my own, and this is just how I'm teaching our our German shorthead pointer, Sophie, who is currently outside because I am hiding. I just hid the shed, um, and so she really wants it so she can find it. But um, all you do is you take the top off, and you just... What I did was I put it, um, like, where the rack meets, like, the bottom of it, like, where it meets, like, this is my antler, and, like, here, here my antlers, like, right here, I put some right here on the antler part, the very bottom of it, and then just ran a little bit up each antler prong point and the main core area, and I just hit it starting with, and I just... First of all, I just gave it to her, and I just let her sniff it. She so she knows that's what that's what it smells like. That's what that's what the antler smells like. And I gave her a training treat, or you can give her any kind of, you can give your dog any kind of treat if you treat your dogs and people don't. But um, I just gave it to her, and then I um, I went and I told her to stay on her couch, and I went into a small confined area, which was our kitchen. And I just put it in a really kind of easy area to find, but it was a little hidden. It was just underneath, like, it was, like, here, and then there was, like, this much wood sticking out. So she could, like, see, like, the prong sticking out of it, but she can totally see it. And I, and I brought it to the kitchen, I said, find it, find it, girl, find it. And I just encouraged her to find it. And, I, and if she, and at first she was a little, like, what? So I kind of, like, ran my fingers kind of like this, just around the floor, so she'll follow my fingers, you know, trying to figure out what they're doing, and she eventually found the shed. And so when she got the idea, that's what that's what I'm supposed to get, I gave her a training treat. And um, I had her go back on the couch, and I hid it again in a different spot, and I told her to find it, and she got up, and I didn't have to do the finger thing. She just went and found it. And so she's been doing that pretty goodly, pretty, pretty goodly, eh, and pretty good. And so I did it a little harder. I decided to do something where it has multiple scents covering it. So I put it in between our trash can and the side of our um, bar, which is right here. This right here thing is our bar. Right there, bar. Right there. Right there. There we go. That's our bar. And, like, the trash can is, like, right there in that area. And so the, the trash scent is coming out of it, and it's kind of, like, mixing in the smell of the rack, the rack wax and um, the trash. So she found, she, it was pretty hard for her to find that, but when she found it, she was really good and she knew it was gonna be there. So now, I've already wasted about five minutes of this video, so now I just hid the shed right over there. Wait, wait, see, I'll go grab it. Right here. This is the shed I'm using. 
It's a white-tailed deer shed. It's very small. Um, but here, I'll show you what I did. All I did was I took it, and I went up and over. I just did it really lightly, like that. You can do it on either side, it doesn't matter, but yeah. And then, um, you, and then I put a little bit down here. And that's how I lubricated it. Right? Now I'm going to put it back over here. See it as easy. And <laughs> what I do is I will just get put up to her nose like this. Because she's con they're constantly breathing in through their nose. So, and she got the scent and that's stuff for these things. And I tell I'm gonna tell I'm gonna bring her and tell her to find it. And I'm gonna see if she does well. So if you want to get rack wax. Um, this stuff was kind of cheap. It was just like 11, 12 bucks, and that was at Cabela's. Um, the Cabela's here in Oregon. I'm not exactly remembering sure what town, but rock wax. So, yeah. works. So, I'm going to go bring Sophie in. Okay, so here, I'll bring her over so you can see her. Oh, you can kind of see her. So this is Sophie. She is a German short-haired pointer. And she is going to find me a shed, right? Mm, you like this milk? No, she's not going to leave me alone. All right, ready to go? Find it. Find it. All right, let's see how she, well she does. Find it. And that's when I would give her a treat. You know that. The treats are on the little opposite end of the house. Sophie, come here. Up. Oh, well, good girl. Good girl, it. Yeah. And the training treats I use for her is I'll use, I use different kinds of training treats, but these ones I'm using right now are ones I got from Cabela's. They are. Zachers, I think that's how it's Z A K E S. The top is kind of torn off, but these are what I'm using currently. These are salmon flavored. I also got chicken flavored. Um, and they're stay, stay soapy, and they are really small, just little itty bitty things. And she loves them. You did good. Yeah. But yeah, that's um. Yeah, and she really loves that smell, so she knows that she's going to get treats if she finds one. So yeah, yeah that's the basic how to uh, train, teach a dog to shed, to shed hunt. <laughs> so I hope this video was um, useful for people who want to teach their dog to shed hunt. And you don't have to have a German short haired pointer like Sophie is. Um, any dog can shed hunt if it has a, a, a good nose a good smell to in their nose and it's not just the breed I mean I have not eaten breakfast if you heard that <laughs> but yeah it doesn't have to be a dog who's bred to smell things it doesn't have to be a specific hunting breed of dog um, we have a friend who has um, a rather smaller dog it's not a basset hound it's um, like a puggle I think a beagle and a pug mix and they do have breathing problems, but he, um, his dog does shed hunt. It, he's not always 100% accurate of where the shed is, but he has found quite a few. But, yeah, so that's my how-to shed hunt. So, yeah, um, I suggest training treats, 
rack wax, and a shed. Now this is an actual shed from an actual deer I found when we were turkey hunting. Um, but it doesn't have to be a real shed. If you go to Cabela, you can get um, shed hunting scent and a rubber shed. And it looks um, rather fake compared to this. This has more of the, the still has the dirt on it. So it has a little bit, per se, more natural smells than a regular uh, plastic uh, training shed. But I suggest training treats. So training treats, it can be any flavor your dog likes. It can be homemade treats. Just make sure you don't give them too many so they don't want, we don't want dogs getting sick enough and going to the vet. But any flavor your dog likes, any treats, smaller ones, preferably. Heck, you can even use human food. Carrots. Our dogs love to eat carrots, but, yeah. Um, rack wax. We got it at um, Cabela's. But I'm sure you could get it at any area that has anything that has dog hunting stuff. So rack wax or um, scent. Any kind of rack uh, shed scent. It can be rack scent or shed, because these are sheds. And a real shed or a train toy shed. And um, you could probably use just any toy, I guess, if it had like a good kind of solid thing you can wipe the wax on. It has to be something you don't mind the dog wanting. And it's it can't be just like a regular like ball. You can't put you can put it on a ball, but then your dog then you can't just let your dog play with that ball for just play because it has to be to see the shed or the toy and. Oh my goodness, this means I'm going to shed hunt. And they got to be excited about it, you know. Like, Sophie, I, before when I first got this, I never let Sophie even touch it. No, it was special to me. But, um, because it was my first shed I ever found. But I, um, but now when I, when Sophie sees the shed being pulled out, she's like, oh my goodness, we're shed hunting. This is awesome. And she's excited for it. But if I just constantly just let her have this, you know, just to chew on all the time, then she'd be like, then I would, she, she would see me pull it out and be like, hey, so I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, I've seen that thing over and over again. I've chewed on it several times, and they'll probably ruin it if they chew on it. But, like, we have just a basket of toys just over here, and Sophie can get into the toys whenever she likes, but this one is special. And so she's like, oh, you know, she gets, she gets, she gets excited when she gets, when she gets a hold of it. But, yeah, so, um... So, uh, you can use, um, you can use any toy. Just don't let them just have at it just to play. It's a training tool. And that's not being mean. Oh, well, the dog loves it so much, you know, but, oh, I take it away from them and they're sad and they're depressed. No, no, the dog will under, the dog will understand. They might be like, oh, you know, I don't get to play with this specific toy anymore, but they'll, they'll get over it. They're, they're, they're dogs. I mean, they'll get over it. So, yeah, um, training treats. Just sitting here wanting the shed right now. Yeah, yeah, you don't get a chill in it. Um, rock wax or scent. That's a play down, isn't it? Hey, get your paws off the table. And a rack, a real rack. I suggest a real rack, but if you don't go out and buy one or find one, a plastic one will do, or however, whatever. Stuff the hey, no, <laughs> but yeah, a rack, and you just put the wax just on the rack. You just go wee, 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 just real lightly. You know, you don't have to, unless you want to put it on heavily, then you can do that. But yeah, and then the last thing you need is a dog and the place to um, hide it. You can hide it almost anywhere, just as long as the dog can find it relatively easily until they get used to the the whole white concept of finding it. Then you can start hiding it in harder places. Like for now, I'm just hiding it in our house. It's a controlled environment and she's used to all the smells. So that when they just smell out of place, she's like, oh, that's, I'm gonna go figure out what that out of place smell is. And then after a while, I'll probably just hide it on our back deck where there's where there's um, outdoor smells and she gets, she's got lots of different smells, but she says, she smells that smell. She's like, I know that smell. That's the one I was looking for in the house. That must be my master's wanting. It. 